Taking it up a notch, we head to Bowling Green, where Chris Bergeron and company are looking for a little revenge after last night's loss to Alaska. First period, no score, but we're going to have an early penalty. Shane Bednard gets called for hooking, and he's going to the box. Bad guys aggressive on the power play, but Chris Nell holds strong to keep Alaska off the board. Second period, the Nanooks on the fast break. Josh Erickson slips it in for the first goal of the game. Alaska leads 1-0. To the third we go, Falcons on a power play and they take advantage. Kevin Dufour, a rising wrist shot hits the back of the net. The home team ties it up at once. Then in the third, take a listen to this. Now he is down. Hoverstrom has really taken in. See him. That's your hope. You know, Bayless just really hammered him and hopefully those fans are okay too. I, I just don't even know what, uh, you know. Steven Bayless lowers the boom literally. Everyone's okay, but that's going to be a penalty. This game goes into overtime in OT. So bet Brett DeAndre with a sweet score to seal the deal. Bowling Green, your winners tonight. Final on the game 2-1. Greg Frankie joins us now with the game winner. I think one other time I scored the uh, overtime winner in my career. Just. It's a great feeling. But it's a little different doing it on a breakaway in front of this this uh, 5,000 crazed uh, hockey fanatics. It's, I'm sure it's got to be a high point in your career. Oh, yeah. To hear that crowd go nuts after that puck went in was something I'll never forget. Yeah. Now talk about it was a big win for the team, especially after last night's loss and then trailing one nothing and having to come back in the third period. The team had to dig down pretty deep tonight. Yeah, we did. Um, going down early. We didn't really feel that we were out of the game. We knew we were getting a bunch of chances. We just kept peppering that goalie. We knew one was going to go in, and, and then it did. And when it did, I, I feel like the mood on the bench was there's no way we're losing this game. How was the effect of having that long wait after the glass got broken? Did that uh, affect anybody? It seemed like the, the last minute and a half of regulation was a little tentative. Yeah, I think it's more mentally you got to stay in it. Uh, the legs, you can do a couple laps to get back in it, but it's, it's tougher to stay in it mentally and stay focused, especially in uh, this tight of a game like that.